anyways, so, uh, uh, how are you guys doing? I'm Chris Signato, and hopefully I'm going to be showing you something kind of neat. Where it is, underneath a few logs out here, are some bald-faced bald hornets. And I just filmed a bald-faced hornet's nest uh, a few days ago, up in a tree. And I want to that is a bald-faced hornet's nest. Okay, it's bigger than a football. And their entrance and exit is always at the bottom. Now, quick side note, guys. Bald-faced hornets will defend their nests aggressively. Do not approach the nest, okay? I just happen to be lucky with wildlife. But don't copy what I'm doing. Totally not concerned with me. And I want to show you what they do at this time of year. They'll hollow out some cavities and some rotting logs. And I actually think they overwinter in them. So it's pretty impressive stuff. So hopefully I'm going to be able to show that to you in a few minutes here. It's really cool. I love these hornets. They're really awesome looking. Got squirrels everywhere today. In there. Let me get on the other side where there's more sunlight. Another red back. There's a bald faced hornet right there. There's another. Yeah, it's a decent sized hornet. Now they're called bald faced because they have white faces. And back in the day, bald actually meant white. Now it's a little cold, so she's just on her side. But see how she's hollowing out that cavity? Okay. I don't want to disturb her too much. High five. Dink. If you look at those colors, aposomatic coloration, opposing colors, bright white mixed with dark black, let you know, stay away from me, I'm dangerous. I will defend myself and you're going to regret it. Either through venom or poison or something nasty. So look at those powerful jaws used for pretty much chopping up wood, you know, cutting up wood to turn into paper for the nest, and also consuming prey. They use those jaws to snip them up and basically butcher them into smaller pieces of meat. She's not happy. So that's how you get the name bald-faced hornet. They got a white face. Okay, now, caste and social dynamics among this species is actually somewhat complicated, and there's no way I'm getting into it in this video. However, come late fall, the queen will lay eggs that'll become drones and future queens. Those two will mate, and then the, the queens will leave and actually overwinter in the chambers that you just saw, which is pretty cool. And then they'll start out their own colonies come springtime. So, uh, pretty neat. Another thing that's unique among this species is that they can actually squirt venom from their stingers. So if you're an animal or something digging into their hive, okay, you'll get squirted by that venom. It'll get in your eyes, it'll burn tremendously, and actually cause temporary blindness and watering of the eyes and whatnot. So uh, you don't want to mess with them. Anyhow, 
Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. That's the bed? Yeah, this was a bed for one of the bald-faced hornets. So she slept in here, but she left.